A very good evening to you. I'm Laura Tachyoga and this is the news now. 13 of the country's 18 political parties have threatened to renounce their participation in the 2023 general elections which are scheduled for February 25 and March 11. This threat was issued by the national chairman of the Action Alliance, Kenneth Udeze. It is noted that this was necessary in the event that the Central Bank of Nigeria extended the federal, the February 10 Naira swap deadline. It is based on the foregoing that we commend the president and the CBN governor for continuing to insist that the deadline will not shift. It is our resolution that while the deadline remains sacrosanct, the Apex Bank can now concentrate on other things like ensuring that it identifies where the already deployed new Naira notes are being hoarded by the deposit money banks who have received these new notes from the CBN. Political parties are backing this policy 100% because they are going to improve the credibility of the elections. It is only election riggers, vote buyers, bandits, corrupt march corruption merchants and other accomplices that are against these policies. The Nigerian people are in support and are currently waging war against these identified groups of unpatriotic Nigerians who are deliberately sabotaging the policy so that the federal government and the central bank will succumb to their plot and cancel and or reverse the policy. We hereby announce our resolution that at least 13 out of the 18 political parties in Nigeria will not be contested, will not be interested in the 2020 election and indeed we shall withdraw our participation from the electoral process if these currency policies are suspended or cancelled or if the deadline is further shifted. Udeza also took a swipe at some governors who went to pressure President Buhari to extend Naira swap deadline. Was it these same governors during the COVID-19 hit palliative for suffering masses from the same people and were using them for their families and friends, forcing Nigerians to break into warehouses nationwide? Was it not these same governors that killed the local government system in their various states without conducting local government elections and even got their house, houses of assembly to vote against local government autonomy so that they can continue to embezzle local government funds? Did this governor gather in frenzy and claim to love Nigerian people when ASU embarked on their last eight-month strike? Have these governors rallied themselves to pressure the president on how to checkmate the lingering fuel crisis in the country, which has lasted for many months? When did this governor begin to love the people more than they, more than they are the ones shouting the loudest now? Is it really the poor that that are an issue for the governors or is it their pocket that they are fighting for? Now, they are threatened that these policies will not allow them to loot common patri our common patrimony. Uh, it is provocative indeed that these governors, for these governors to claim to be fighting for the poor masses who are poor today because of the misgovernance looting, corruption, absence of elected local government officials, and other actions of these same governors. Most of these governors have not reckoned with President Muhammad Buhari insisting on fulfilling his promise of free and fair election and had relied on using their...